Hello, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can take full ownership of the FreeMarker scripts that generate the KC context in Keyclockify. So let's start the Keyclock container. And access our theme. And we can see in the developer console that we have a KC context object on the window where are all the information that are uh, forwarded by Keyclock to the client that we use to generate the page. And there might be some information that you want to remove from this uh, KC context. For example, if you don't want to know what version of uh, Keyclockify uh, you, uh, if you don't want people to know what version of Keyclockify you're using, you might want to remove uh, this uh, property of the KC context. For this, there is a straightforward way. You can go in your vidconfig and add a snippet of code that would add an exclusion for uh, this particular entry. For removing things from the KC context, it's quite easy. But what if you want to add stuff that are not included by default or apply some advanced transformation. For example, here I just got an issue from someone that wants the realm attributes. Uh, and the realm attributes is something that I've explicitly excluded uh, because by default I prefer uh, not exposing too much of the realm configuration to the client. But if you need it, uh, you would need to uh, take ownership of the FreeMarker template and uh, remove this rule that exclude this, uh, this uh, realm proprieties. So we're going to see how to do that. So what we want to do is use this little package that I love uh, and it's, uh, it's a very neat tool that uh, enables you to patch the, any package that you, that you have in your node module directly and persist the change that you've made. So we're going to install this, yarn add, uh, it's a dev dependency, dev patch package, all right. And uh, we want to go in uh, the Keyclockify, Keyclockify directory here, and we want to go in sources. Um, it's in bin, Keyclockify, generate FTL, and here it is, the script, the FTL script, that generates the KC context. So here we can see there is a bunch of exceptions that I've manually added. And here the exception that we want to remove is the uh, path realm attributes. So we can remove this and save. And here if I follow the documentation of this pack packa patch package uh, project, I can just run this command here. Here some package will be kclockify. All right. And it just created for me a nice little diff that I can commit uh, to patch the package. Because the change that I've just made, if I remove the node module or if I reinstall, they're going to be lost. And this enables me to um, persist those change and to make sure those patch those change are persisted I just need to add a post build post install um, script that will run patch package all right just to 
uh, proof that it worked. Here I'm gonna remove uh, the node module. All right. I'm gonna install again. And you can see the patch package have been applied. And here you see that the change that I've made earlier are applied. There is no um, there is no ex exclusion for the real attributes. And now if I start npx kcklockify start kcklock again, I should be able to see the the attributes in the KC context. Okay, let's try. So let's see, he wants realm attributes. Let's see if we have KC context uh, realm. And now we have all the attributes here. So great, fantastic. And now if we want to use it in the code. So I'm gonna go in login, KC pages. And here in KC context, realm, unfortunately we don't have attribute because it's not in the type definition. Even if it's here, it's not in the type definition, but it's not a problem. I can just go in the KC context here and define a KC context extension. So here it will be realm and um, realm and attributes attributes and I'm gonna say it's a uh, record of it looks like a record of string string all right and now I should be able to have in the KC context realm attributes okay I have the attribute and I have still all the other things all right and maybe in the kc page store here i'm getting an error here to tell me okay you've changed you've added something in the kc context but this is not in the default mock so if you want your story to to work here you need to provide the values that are missing so here i need to provide realm attribute to not only to make uh, uh, TypeScript happy, but to um, to be able to test it in in the in the stories. So, for example, let's say that uh, I want I don't know. I'm gonna put this value. Okay, and it's. 120 all right so i just put this value as mock value for my storybook okay and now uh, i should be able to save and compile and i'm pretty sure it will work here kc page so if i do console log uh, kc context realm attributes I have everything I need, I suppose. Oh, uh, okay. So yes, all, all right. But now in my in my stories. So let's see in storybook, npx kcklockify. Um, add story for the login page. All right. Okay, so I just added a story for the login page, and here I'm logging the the real attribute, so I can do yarn storybook. Okay, and sure enough, I should have 
if I open the mock data here, uh, Shiba expire uh, 120. So, well, I think that's it. And it's a good enough solution because this is for power users. This is like if you need to apply some advanced transformation that you, you, you'll need this. And so this is a good enough solution. You can make all the changes that you want and persist them with uh, this, uh, this patch. All right, bye.